This video is the first in a series on view three on this channel. I've gotten a lot of questions about how you should get started with view three. So I'm doing a quick intro video about getting started with view three and what are the easiest ways and also all of the options that are available right now. And then if you want to know about the view three syntax and how to get started with all of the new features actually coding a view three application, then please join me this Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I will be live on Eddie Jout's channel, his YouTube channel, and we are going to talk about view three and build a view three application together live. So I hope you can join me for that. And you can look forward to a lot of new view three content coming out very soon on this channel. How do you get started with Vue if you have never used it before, and specifically Vue version 3? Vue is really well known for having great documentation that is quite approachable for people who are new to the Vue ecosystem. So if you go here to the docs and guide, it walks you through a little bit about what Vue is, and then you can go to the getting started portion, and it will actually let you see and also try out Vue syntax right here inside of the documentation. Now, if you've seen a little bit of the syntax and you want something a little bit more comprehensive than this, then you can go to this link, which is the migration guide. And if you scroll down on this sidebar as well, then you can see the migration guide down at the bottom right here. I'm gonna click on that. And then this section is mostly for people who have used Vue before or are somewhat familiar with it. But if you look at the introduction here and scroll down a little bit, this quick start here has an online playground on CodePen and also a code sandbox where you can get started using Vue 3 right away. So if you go to CodePen, you can see the Vue 3 test page and then get a feel for how Vue is set up here in the JavaScript. Now, when you look at this, if you've seen Vue 2 before, then you might think this looks, you know, exactly the same as Vue 2. And that's because this is the same API as Vue 2 with just a few minor wording changes or updates. For example, this data used to be able to make an object. Now it has to be a function with a return for the object and a couple small things like that. But overall, this API is pretty much the same if you look at the code sandbox example, this is a multi-page application in view three. So this is more like what you would be doing for local development if you were actually building an application. And you can see this is using view three syntax. There's a few minor differences from view two to view three, like this create app API. It used to be a slightly different syntax in view two to render your application to mount it, but they standardize the API across their packages now. If you prefer local development, then the Vue CLI has been updated to give you a Vue 3 option, so you can create Vue 3 apps or Vue 2 apps from the Vue CLI now. So you can install it via NPM. If you have an older version of the Vue CLI, you can still run the same command to update your version to the latest Vue CLI. And I already have this installed, so I'm not gonna install it again. And now I can use the Vue create command to create a new Vue application locally. And I'll call this Vue 3 test. And I can see all of my options here. The top three demos prod and Vue 3 demos are just presets that I created. And then you can see it gives me two options. There's a default view two and there's a default view three. So I'm just going to pick the default view three. That's basically going to set up Babel to transpile my view files and the default ESLint setup. You can see it already created a Git project for me and it already installed my node module. So all I have to do right now is run the npm run serve command to run this view application. 
If you've used view before, you might notice that that initial build is much faster. I'm not sure how much they've sped it up, but I can definitely see that it's faster from the old Webpack build in view 2 to the new one now in view 3. And this is the view application that's running on port 8080. This is the exact same app and landing page and everything that you've always seen from the view CLI applications. Now you can also create a view application by manually selecting the features that you want. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to this manually select features, click enter, and now see at the very top it says I can select view version. So these circles that are filled in, that means I've opted in to select these features. So if I wanted TypeScript, for example, I can hit spacebar and you can see I have TypeScript, but I don't want that, so I'm going to hit spacebar again. So these are the same options that you saw in Vue CLI while building Vue 2 applications. The router and Vue X have new versions in alpha, I believe, that are now compatible with Vue 3. So I'm going to choose Vue 3. Use history mode for router, yes. SAS, just any linter is fine. Now that the project is set up, I can take a look at it in VS Code. And in the package.json, you can see it installed Vue version 3, as well as the compatible Vue router and Vue X versions 4. Now, if you've heard of the big changes coming in Vue X, those are actually not out yet and will come in version 5. They're being worked on, like combining actions and mutations. But for right now, version 4 had to come out to be compatible with Vue version 3. And again, I could run this just like a normal Vue application with the npm run serve command. And if I look at it in the browser, it is exactly the same as any other Vue application that's running, which is a fully featured boilerplate for a Vue application. Now, the last way to get started with Vue is with Vite which is a bundling and build tool to replace Webpack, which, like it says, basically uses native ES modules. That means that instead of using an extra layer or an extra build tool like Webpack, modern browsers are now supporting module syntax directly. So you can use things like import statements now, and they will be natively recognized by browsers. This makes it much faster than using intermediate steps from libraries like Webpack. While this is a relatively new project, it is now in version 1 RC4, which means it's coming out in a production-ready version 1 pretty soon. And we'll probably be replacing Webpack for Vue.js, or at least be an option in the Vue CLI where you can choose between Webpack or Vite. Now, a lot of people have been waiting to use Vite for a while. And the cool thing is, is that now that Vue 3 is out and Vite works with Vue 3 now that it's been completely rebuilt. So now there's a documented way to get started with Vite, which is awesome. So I'm going to paste that command in here. Now you'll notice that I didn't have to globally install Vite. I ran the npm init command, and then it just sets up a Vite application for me. This is because npm init uses npx, which looks for an online package for Vite app, and I never have to install it locally and worry about keeping it up to date, etc. That's really convenient. And that set up my project incredibly fast, so I'm going to cd into my project, and I will open this up in a code editor. You can see that it scaffolds the basic elements of a Vue application similar to what Vue CLI already does, just with a lot fewer options right now, of course. And you'll notice that with Vite, you need to do an npm install because it didn't already do that for us. And now I can run it with npm run dev. And here's the basic application. I'm planning a more in-depth video on how Vite works when it comes out in version 1, so stay tuned for that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it and now you are ready to start with Vue 3. I know KitKat is also excited about this. So join me on Discord if you have any questions or comments. You can also leave a comment down below this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Have a great day.